Tonight we have to strip the wheels and a bunch of other parts from two citizens of Oasis. So who's the buyer then? That's none of your business, you bonehead! And if you're thinking of asking me any more dumb questions... Oh, I won't do that. You'd better not. Is that perfectly clear? Yeah. Yeah, my mama always used to tell me that, uh, that you have a really big mouth. <laughs> you stay out of this, you little wimp, or I'll slap <laughs> you into the ground, ready for recycling. <laughs> you got that? Cut that out! <laughs> hey, Tin Can Man, let's have two whiskalines for my men here. The big boss is paying. Password, zero, zero. Coming right up. Just connect to the tubes on the bar in front of you. Any more questions? Uh, uh, and these cars, are they both immobilized? One of them is, because he's all out of gas. But we're just gonna have to use our tranquilizers to take care of the other one. I guess everything's okay then. No, it ain't. Uh, what? Why not? Because we got a problem and his name is Slowy. I found out that he's been telling Archibald whenever we make one of our trips to Oasis. Well, all we have to do is take him out with tranquilizers. Or I could just use my big right front wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and then we oh, then we take all the parts off him and we choke him in the junkyard with the others. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right, boys. What are you waiting for? If we set out right this second, we'll be in Oasis before it gets dark. Get moving! My message will reach Oasis before you do. Hello, my friends. Bad news. Greeny plans to attack Slowey tonight. He suspects Slowey is Archibald's spy. He will attack two other cars from Oasis. He will take all their parts to sell and dump all that is left of them in the junkyard. End of message. Come by sometime. I want you to sneak up to the bridge real quiet, okay? Then report back on the situation. <gasps> get off of me, you idiot! <sighs> so tell me, did you get a good look at him? Uh, uh, yes, he's, he's behind the gate post. We're too far away to hit him with the tranquilizers. Hey! Slowy! How's it going? It's your old pal Greeny here with Sylvester and Mac. It's Greeny. Thanks. You were right. Yes, yes, yes. What are you doing here? The curfew will be starting any minute now. I know! But we don't want to go into the town. We just want to say hi and have ourselves a little walk on your side of the bridge. It's nicer. Whatever you say, guys. Come on over to the gate so I can see you better. 
<laughs> oh, this is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll take care of that old fool. Come on! Hey there, Slowey! Here we come! You know, I ain't got nothing against you personally. Well, that's great! In that case, don't take this personally either! <laughs> I came over as fast as I could after I delivered the consignment of seeds to Splashy. That's mighty nice of you. I wanted to say thank you for taking care of me. Oh, well, you've really made my day. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm afraid... What is it, Uncle Slowey? Don't forget, Archibald is still under pressure to catch you and hand you over to the... A parts dealer, just like they did with my family. They caught them, took their parts, and left them in the junkyard. But you know, those guys will never catch me. Of course they won't catch you. We're all looking out for you, but all the same, you can't go taking unnecessary risks. You're right. I have to keep reminding myself of that. If you ask me... If you ask me, it'd be practically impossible to catch her. Have you heard, my old Slowey, how we were laid low? What's this, your highness? Defeated? Oh, no. Although everything should have been smoother than butter, they cruelly attacked us and left us to splatter. This morning, your rhymes are especially good, but I'm not sure that I've understood. I don't know, my old friend, how you read my mind, but it seems that our fates are intertwined. <laughs> Oh no, hold on. Not that, please. What is it? What on earth did I do? Have I offended you? No! No, not at all! Oh, I nervous, my hero. There's no need to worry. I love the chat longer, but we're in a... What? could be a true story. Well, I don't know about that, but I do know all these plants grew from seed in just one day and one night. I think we got the greening off to a good start. And all this grass has some very interesting special abilities as well. And I have a special ability for not believing in fairy tales. Wake me up with it. When we were on our way here, we saw Greeny and the rest of his gang, and they were all headed in this direction. <gasps> there they are. They're coming. Quick, get me out of the gap.
us to meet up here. And at night, it's what the big boss has ordered. They say that Oasis is crawling with spies. They're ready to offer real money and all the assistance we need. But nobody else must find out anything about it. And how do they plan to help us? Well, I don't know. They mentioned some sort of Chamalama, Lamalu, Lama Lion, or something like that. What do I know? <laughs> Never heard of it. Ah, you know, Splashy, I think I'll come visit you more often. This place is beautiful. Coming here reminds me of the old days when the whole area looked like this, all lush and green. <laughs> I thought I'd find you two enjoying Splashy's beautiful garden. Hey, what's new? Barbara called from the Karazina bar. Archibald was telling Greeny all about their latest plan. Me and Bo, that's who they want to capture now. The big bosses are going to help by sending, <laughs> and I quote, a Kamalama line. <laughs> Oh, that's the message! <laughs> I don't believe it. Archibald acts so smart and he's never heard the word chameleon? I guess it must be a code name their bosses have dreamed up for someone or something. And based on the code name, that someone or something probably has a long sticky tongue and changes color to blend in with the background. Okay, Slowey. You go to your usual position. You may be able to find out more. And Splashy and I will make sure to keep checking all the hidden cameras at the crossroads. We'll stay in touch. The big bosses have been in touch again, Greeny. They told me in no uncertain terms that these two little pests must be captured today. But it's not us who'll be catching them this time. Why do they bother calling us then? What about the cash? We've been working hard on this job. Oh, calm down. There's nothing to worry about. The point is, we get the money anyway, even though we don't have to do any of the capturing. There's gotta be a catch. There's no catch. They've got a plan, and they'll take care of everything. <laughs> what do they need us for, then? All we have to do is chase those little creeps through Oasis, and then they'll be lying in wait to jump out and capture them. <laughs> hey? Hey? The fun starts in half an hour. Half an hour! Half an hour! Quick, quick! We have to get moving! Ah, it's so frustrating not knowing where they're going to spring their trap. You mean Archibald hasn't dropped any hints? He's been playing this one really cool, even though B and Bo have been teasing him. Maybe he's starting to suspect that... Still no news, guys. I've been scanning all the usual frequencies, but nobody's giving anything away. <sighs> This is too much. What are we going to do? Those no goods will catch them. I don't think so. Honey. I'm listening. Turn on the cameras at the crossroads. Keep following the action to make sure we're watching the right place at the right time. Good luck. Well, 
B and Bo can both function as small but extremely powerful dynamos, and if they need to, for example, if they're being attacked, they can generate high voltage electricity. And we saw the results. <laughs> Every single day, it seems I take a look around and this place looks worse than ever. It's really getting me down, you know? Yeah. And after the danger of getting your wheels or engine parts stolen, that's one of the main reasons why practically everyone who can has gotten out of here. But to be honest, it's not much better anywhere else. At college, they taught me ways to regenerate this whole area. But did they teach you how to talk sense into a heartless tyrant called Archibald? Oh yeah, I'd like the chance to tell him he can't treat the world as his own backyard, where he can do whatever he wants. Yes, but you know, it's always darkest before the dawn, as the old proverb says. Anyway, Slowey, where's your neighbor? We've got stuff to do. Oh, she's probably still at the beauty parlor. She's having the works. Deep cleaning, polishing. Oh. Well, gentlemen, I think I speak for all of us when I say that it is both an honor and a delight to welcome such a stunningly beautiful lady into our midst. My dear Miss Honey, it's wonderful to see you. Oh, thank you, Splashy. You know, you have such a marvelous way with words. Only someone who'd been to college could have such an eloquent and expressive vocabulary at their command. <laughs> you know, you guys have to stop using these words really weird foreign words. Well, thank you all so much for coming to see me off on my journey. Oh, of course. You're setting out for the Eco Center. That's right. So take care of B and Bo and especially Sarah. And now, I really have to get going. See you soon. See you. Good luck. So long, Brady. Grady just disappeared! What do you mean, disappeared? He just vanished! What? Vanished? He's gone! Wait! Do you see what I see on the ground? Well, you can take me to the junkyard and break me up for scrap. If those aren't the tracks of three vehicles! You're right! Look at the tire patterns! Those are the tracks of Grady's wheels! And those are the tracks of two invisible kidnappers who followed Grady and stunned him! Then used their powers to make him invisible and grabbed him. Grabbed him and dragged him off! But where to? I'm calling Dr. Kettle right away! This is Concept Master Upsilon. Concept Master Upsilon. Conductor Alpha, please come in! Conductor Alpha, I suggest we use musical code A3. They say that B and Bo have already been told what they need to do. We should stand by until they've carried out their orders. You mean we're supposed to stand around and do nothing? job. Green's trying to dump a load of garbage there, but I called this meeting so I could give you the message from the Eco Center. They confirmed that Grady was kidnapped. Well, we knew that. Try to stay calm, Slowey. Okay. 
he was kidnapped so that they could teleport him to the headquarters and make him reveal the formula for the ecological fuel. Uh -oh. And then... Wait a minute! Wade doesn't even know the formula! Yes, the kidnappers worked that out pretty quickly. So they brought him right back here and imprisoned him somewhere. We still don't know where. And how did the Echo Center find out? Well, they have a contact working for them in Neverland, and he's undercover like you. And we do know that Grady's being forced to go to a meeting at the center to find out just what... No, there's no way he would betray them! Exactly. And of course, the big bosses know that too, so they are trying to find a way to... I've got a suggestion! I'll head over to the Karazina bar right on the edge of uh, Neverland. No one there knows who I am. Sorry, Uncle Slowey. I think I've got a better idea. You know how quick and how quiet I am. If I travel around the whole area, I'm sure I'll find a clue that will lead us to Grady. See you later! You know, honey, you just gotta hand it to that girl. She's fast and quiet and she's smart, too. <laughs> I don't believe it! Those punks turned up with a bunch of trucks and started dumping all kinds of wastes and trash into the bay. They even tried to beat me up when I told them to stop, so I had to use tear gas on them. Those bullies are gonna cause us a lot of problems. I'm going to the bay with you, just in case those creeps come back during the night. Good idea, Slowey. I'll call you on Splash's video link if I hear anything. If there's no news, we'll all meet up tomorrow afternoon when Sarah gets back. You know, honey, last night I saw what a multi-talented character our friend Splashy is. Greeny's been trying to dump all kinds of garbage into the river, but Splashy is more than a match for him. Hey, that's Sarah's music. She listens to it when she's feeling happy. completely wrapped up in tape. It was even worse than being stuck in quicksand. The only thing I could move were my eyes. So then I looked up, and what did I see? B and Bo were sitting on the roof. When B and Bo told me what they had seen through the skylight, I honestly thought I was going to faint. And now, we can all see what happened because B and Bo made a video recording and sent it to me on the secure channel. <laughs> are angry because he hasn't captured the swirls or Sarah yet. But how do you know that? I intercepted a message from one of the bosses to Archibald. Huh? Someone's calling me. Let's see who it is. Hi, honey, it's me. I'm calling to send video evidence of the moment when the trucks turned up and started dumping garbage off the dock and into the river. Speak to them? Yes, 
I confronted them and told them I had to send them away because what they were doing was absolutely forbidden. But then we were joined by... Oh no! Look, it's Greeny! What's he doing there? <laughs> well, you better leave this to me, my dear. I have to stay because my place is here. Attention! Company Fallen! This is what happens when you do things in haste. Rushing around is not to my taste. Then why are you in such a hurry, your wiseness? Well, I'm so upset I seem to have run out of rhymes. So I'll just tell you the story in prose. I don't know if it was a lone attacker or if there was a gang of them, but someone has destroyed my base. The codes have been stolen. My secret plans, everything. Terrible news! Who would do such a thing? It's that journalist! I know it. I'm sure of it. Well, your brightness, I think you're on the wrong track. What on earth do you mean? Gravy was captured two days ago by a pair of invisible kidnappers. What kidnapped? They were invisible? And nobody knows where they've taken him to. And nobody knows, eh? And I've got some other news for you, too. Is it about the journalist? No, you can forget about him. Oh, who is it about, then? It's about Greeny. Ah, Greeny. What about him? He's guarding the trucks that are dumping garbage into the river. What? But, but that's... That's my business. <laughs> And what if the base was attacked by... I must go back to the headquarters to plan my counter-attack. Yes. Back to the base! <laughs> hey there. Hi, uh, what's tickling you, Slowey? <laughs> I'll tell you. But first, I've got a surprise for you. Archibald was asking about you. You don't say. And uh, how come? He wants to have a word with you about his base getting wrecked. And I want to have a word with him about the way he's destroyed Oasis. Whether he acted alone or on somebody else's orders, he's responsible for the damage. Hey, before I forget, I let him know that Greeny has been escorting trucks here to dump garbage into the river. <gasps> I had no idea they'd started already. I thought that was just something they were plotting. It leaves us no choice but to go ahead with plan B. You're right. Hey, uh, you, you still haven't told me what you were laughing about when I got here. <laughs> oh, uh, Bo, he tied a, <laughs> a string yeah, yeah. of cans <laughs> to, to Archibald's back bumper. <laughs> and Archibald, he was scared out of his wits. <laughs> he took off like he had killer bees on his tail. <laughs> 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 You guys! Well, hello there, beautiful. 
What's the rush? You know, I hate to bring you bad news when you're having such a good time, but there's a column of trucks coming up the right-hand side of the river, and they're loaded with toxic waste to dump in Splashy's Bay. Greeny's guarding the rear. Okay, Slowey, this is an emergency. We have to do something. Come on, let's get going. No! Splashy said we shouldn't go anywhere near the bay. He said he was sure he could deal with this on his own. Okay, if that's what he wants, we'll stay here. But we'll be ready for action. <laughs> This is Splashy calling Honey. This is Splashy calling Honey. Honey, come in. Honey, come in. Splashy, this is Honey. Why are you calling me? I want everyone to know what's going on over here. So I want you to download all the material I'm recording and forward it to Grady immediately so he can put it in the newspapers and show it on TV. Okay, I'm downloading. What should I put in the message? Polluters and poisoners of nature in action. Oh no! And Greeny is standing guard. I'm surprised that his partner Mac isn't there. When I chased them off yesterday, Greeny told me that he'd be back to take care of me today. We're all standing by if you need our help. Don't you worry. I have a surprise up my sleeve for him. Watch out for Greeny. He's a dangerous character. While you're forwarding the news to Grady, I think I'll go and have a little talk with my uninvited guests. I already told you that it's against the law to pollute nature! Oh, where are you hiding, Grandpa? Did you really think that I was scared of you yesterday? Don't make me laugh! Come out here and show yourself! And did you really think that I was joking with you? If you think you can drive me away with your gases, you're making a big mistake! <laughs> we all got some special air filters for the occasion! <laughs> Pretty intelligent of us, huh? <laughs> what you're doing isn't intelligent at all. Let's see if you like these intelligent guided missiles! I'll drill you full of holes like a Swiss cheese! I think things are getting more and more dangerous for Sarah, B, and Bo. Archibald and his heavies won't stop till they catch them. Take it easy. Those good-for-nothings won't dare hurt B and Bo. They want them in one piece. They wouldn't do anything to harm them. What? You think I'm an airport? Oh yeah? Honey heard on Archibald's frequency that one of the bosses wants to catch Sarah at any cost. It's just as I thought. Tell her to keep listening on all the frequencies and find out exactly what he's planning. Do you think anybody saw you? I guess those two are capable of staying out of danger anyway. But as for Sarah... I'm really not so sure about her. It's normal that you're worried about her. That's because you like her. But don't you forget that as well as being fast as lightning, she has plenty of other tricks up her sleeve. Yeah, I guess you're right there. Oh well, see you later. See you later! Wow, Sarah, who was it who gave you that beautiful flower? You don't see many of those around. My boyfriend. When he came back from visiting Dr. Kettle. Brady? Oh, that's so sweet. 
Did you tell him that you really want to visit your family in Neverland? I didn't. And please don't tell him anything. He'll try to stop me from going. I'm afraid those bad guys will lay a trap for you. They've been doing everything they can to catch you. So? They won't get me. I'm the fastest car around. The fastest, maybe. But you're not the smartest. Oh, come on, honey. Give me some credit, won't you? Yeah, well. Just take care. I'll be waiting for you. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. See you later, honey. You block it! Oh, I am sorry. I was just trying to get past you two guys. Uh... You're stupid enough for two. Oh, why? With you lot, Napoleon wouldn't even have made corporal. Oh. You made me lose my concentration. Oh, I think I'm losing my mind. I really think I'm losing my mind. You bunch of buffoons are pushing me over the edge. Wait a minute. What was I... What was I talking about just now? Well, you were telling us to spread the glue all over the bridge, but you didn't say whether to put it on the roof or all over the... What? Oh, spread it all over the roof? Are you crazy? Nobody crosses the river over the roof, you blithering nitwit! Spread it on the road! On the road? Yeah, who's supposed to be crossing the river, Chief? That supersonic speed manga, Sarah! That's who! You three drive across the bridge and spread the glue as you come back. Come on, what are you waiting for? I'm too late! How am I going to visit my family in Neverland now? to the big bosses and they've given us another job. What kind of job? No! You really think I'm gonna blurt that out with all these folks around here listening in on us? Ooh, what do you want? A big announcement on the radio? Oh, I'm sorry, boss. I'm real sorry. I won't do it again. All right, all right. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, we're gonna get paid big bucks for taking out the enemy. And this time we won't mess up! And who is the enemy? <laughs> that old has-been splashy. <laughs> he really got you with that hydrochloric acid. Yeah, but that was then. It ain't gonna happen again. This time we're gonna be prepared. Plus, I'm going to get the antidote from the boss. I've already asked you three times, what do you want to drink? Uh, nothing! Nothing! We're out of here! I've just about had my fill of you! It's Loey. Don't you worry, I won't tell him a thing. Hey, hi. Two questions. What was Greeny talking about? And do you know where I might find B and both? <laughs> 
To answer your first question, Granny was talking about silver in the river. As for the second question, you need a password. What do you mean a password? I can't believe you're asking me. A password is a password. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you yelling? If you don't like the way I talk, then you can get out of here. I wonder what's gotten into him. I better make tracks before he gives the whole game away. Oh, hey, Slowey. Hey there. What brings you here? I thought you were on vacation. Well, yes, officially I am, but I came here because I have important news to give you. What's this news about? Silver. Oh, is it now? Well, you got my attention, so what's the rest of the story then? I heard that Greeny is planning to destroy the bay and the river trying to find silver. So that's what he's been plotting. He dumps garbage into the river and he takes silver out. And who gave him permission to do that? The same people whose garbage he dumps in the river! And who's paying him good money to do it! Well, that's very interesting. And where did you find that out? I was at the Karazina bar, on the highway. Well, in that case, let's get ready to use some persuasion. Greeny's mean and he's sneaky, too. I think we're going to have to... <sighs> hey, let's take cover. It sounds like we've got company. How about you? I went to see Splashy. I had to give him some bad news about his bay. It's something that concerns Grady and you, too. It concerns me? What do you mean? Greeny's been given a new mission by the big bosses. They've ordered him to look for silver in the river and the bay. You know there have been rumors of that for a very long time. Well, looks like they decided to find out for sure. And? What did Splashy say about he it? He said, let's get ready to use persuasion. Well, I want to use some persuasion, too. Ha! I told you the news concerned you as well. Come on, Slowey. This area is still our territory. Who knows? Anyway, we need to prepare for action. <laughs> Chloe, had you already told them the news you just told me? Mm, what do you mean? I mean, they just gave me exactly the same news that you did word for word. Hey guys, I guess B and Bo told you the news? I guess so, but I have no idea where they heard it themselves. Apparently, they have powers that we know nothing about. Shall we just ask them? Not now, and not here. We're going to talk about Greeny at Splashy's place in half an hour. Then where are B and Bo? They're probably at Splashy's already. <laughs> Are you sure you don't need us to help you out? Yes, I need to be able to deal with this problem on my own, because those guys could show up at any time. And we can't hang around here until they do. So, what now? Nothing. <sighs> here they come. This is a good opportunity to show you one of my defense systems. What kind of systems? I don't see any. 
That's precisely what makes him so effective. The attacker only realizes something is happening when it's too late for him to do anything. Let's get out of sight. to his senses. <laughs> well, we gave you fair warning. There'll be no more pussyfooting around. Mac, let's see if you can smoke him out with that little anti-tank cannon of yours. You know, I've been very worried about you. You brought me a beautiful flower back from your trip, so I brought you... A <laughs> and thanks for looking out for me, guys. They've been doing their best to catch me, but when those slow pokes turn around, I'm miles away. Your incredible speed is the reason they're trying to catch you. I know. While I was away, they put a price on my head. Can you believe that? What? But you know, I'm not going to make it easy for them. They're supposed to hand me over without a single scratch. <laughs> you hear that, Grady, huh? Doesn't she realize that the bad guys from all over the world will be out to get her now? How are we going to defend her from all of them? Uncle Slowey, I know how serious it is. But you're not going to believe who I spotted while I was on my way here. <laughs> Greenie and Archibald together. Oh, you're not serious. That's all we need. Hey, it's Honey. What's up, Honey? I've just found out. They're going to attack Splash's cabin today from both sides at once. We're not gonna do anything, just record what we see. Good luck. Wow, they don't waste time. Well, let's get to work. Slowey, you stand by the gate to see who comes that way. Sarah, you film the right shore of the bay from the position on the left. I'll do the opposite. And we'll all be down at the bay in 30 minutes. This is Honey. We're using a secure channel so that we can talk freely. Grady, are you in position? Yes, Honey. Here's the left side of the bay. Sarah, come in. I read you, Honey. This is what I can see. Splashy, how are you doing? Fine. I'm at the bottom of the river. Right in front of the cabins. Listen up. Somebody's sneaking into position on the road to the bridge. It's Frank! But I can't tell what he's doing! There's one from Greenie's gang. I think it's Sylvester. And here are the other two, Greenie and Mac. They're not trying to hide. Where are you, you slippery rascal? We've come to pay a little visit on you! <laughs> you tricked us pretty good last time we met you, but now we've got the antidote. 
Hey, amphibian features. I heard a lot about you, but I never actually seen your face. Come on out here. I challenge you to a duel. I'm not gonna stand around all day. Me neither. I say we take up positions around those old cabins, and then we hit them with every single weapon we got. We'll flatten them to the ground. Are you ready? Would you look at that? That's real high technology. Hi there, you guys. Splashy, you have to get the fast-growing grass and seeds because they're going to sell out. That's a job for me! Can you not sneak up on us like that? We've had a lot of shocks today. <laughs> you know, she gave me a shock a few minutes back, too. I'll see you later. Well, I'm sorry, but I think my suggestion's totally reasonable. Considering how fast you can travel, it's extremely reasonable, but... But considering those villains are trying to hunt you down, it's not very reasonable at all. But then again, if we could be absolutely sure that Sarah was wearing a really convincing disguise... Okay, fortune favors the brave, you know. Where is it? It's at the top of Green Valley, in the cave called Last Hope. Be careful. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I think I should retire. <laughs> Maybe. You can retire when Oasis is green again. <laughs> <laughs> Over here! Today we are going to put an end to our problems forever. When I show up behind those two troublemakers who walk through here every day and chase after them, they are going to run headfirst straight into my trap. What trap? This giant puddle of oil you spread all over the road, you numbskull! Uh, uh, what happens there? And then, you brainless buffoon, they go skidding into the oil and spin round and round and round, and there'll be no way for them to escape. <laughs> then we jump out in front of them and behind them and surround them, and we, and we, and we... That's enough! Get into your position.
Buy your movie today. Azura.com.